It was a weekend of global environmental observances. May 22 is International Day for Biological Diversity, and World Turtle Day is commemorated on May 23. Carissa Douglas sat down with manager of Environment Tobago, Sean McCoon, who shared some remarks on these two international observances. Sea turtle nesting sites behind us, Mount Irvin Beach. Manager of 25-year-old NGO Environment Tobago noted that International Day for Biological Diversity has special significance for Tobago. In particular, the Man in the Biosphere designation was given to Tobago by UNESCO last year which marks the main ridge forest reserve as a biosphere and by extension an area that is very much diverse in its biodiversity. So it's a celebration of plants, animals and all that is there in the environment. Mr. McCoon indicated, however, that World Turtle Day has recently been brought to their attention. As it's the turtle nesting season, you find that there are many challenges but we can take away some positives as a result of this awareness being raised by the day and the um, observance. Um, we have a turtle patrol that was recently instituted as a collaborative effort between the EMA and the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment, particularly um, because there were civil society groups and NGOs lobbying as well. Though the environmental activist says there is still room for improvement, he believes there exists some progress in the public's appreciation for flora and fauna. People are now seeing the importance of the natural environment and what it can provide for human survival. Many people are going back to the land, many people are going into farming, small-scale gardening projects, and that in itself is an indication that people are seeing the value of the environment and all that is therein, and the natural environment around them as well as the fact that education now is becoming more geared towards environmental issues and making people aware of some of the challenges that are being faced. And while many are negatively affected by the COVID pandemic, McCoon says the environment has seen a positive effect. When it is you have reef tours going constantly and human intervention and interaction, sometimes the fish and the natural habitat or ecosystem of the reef may be a bit interrupted. So these periods of lull and these periods of lockdown can positively contribute to the environment having a rebirth. Environment Tobago would be hosting a virtual conference in June and the organization's manager is encouraging citizens to play a part in protecting the environment and partner with local groups. Alicia Douglas, TTT News.